Welcome. Finally, the fight is here. Dustin Poirier versus Conor McGregor. Three trilogy. <sighs> the nerves are going. <laughs> I always get nervous at big fights. Monster. You're right. Get out of here. Dustin Poirier 32, Conor McGregor 32. Both fighters are 5 foot 9, both fighters weighed at 156 pounds. Conor is 2 inches in reach. Minus, uh, Dustin's minus 139, Conor's plus one, 110 underdog. Never seen Conor that much of an underdog, it's funny. Or miss, maybe the Mayweather fight, that's the last one I've seen. You just can't see this right now because I haven't recorded this, like I haven't got this on there, but Connor's like rushing in the middle of lockdown. If you watch the fight, you'll know, you'll know, you'll know. <coughs> I'm not sure if I'm going to show the fight or if I'm going to, what I'm going to do, because I know UFC is quite strict on their policies. Oh my god, the amount of people, like 14,000, no, it's more than 14,000, like 20,000. Dustin's looking a little bit stiff. Here we go. I feel like I'm fighting. <laughs> you see, even Daniel Cormier agrees to get you so nervous. Mm, I don't like that. Connor was very eager to get to the middle of the octagon last time as well. You know, it's always stamp. He's a bit bouncer. Ah, oh, please. Ooh. More kick heavy in this one, which is good. Don't start under that box, and he's getting a bit stiff on his feet. Oh, getting a bit reckless. I feel like if Dustin wins this one, I don't feel like it's because Connor was too boxing stance heavy. Connor wasn't conditioned enough. Connor didn't run enough. I think it's just because Dustin is the stronger man, the bigger man, you know, the better fighter in some ways, you know. Why is Connor going conventional? Oh, so Dustin can't kick him as much. See, Connor's very leg kick heavy, but I feel like Dustin has better leg kicks than Connor. Connor's never been a leg kicker, except for Diaz. Oh, 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 Jesus! Connor's very good takedown defense, but I wonder how it'll hold up against Dustin. As we know, Dustin's all around. You know, I feel like he's all around the better fighter. Oh. No, I thought that was a guillotine attempt. Oh, it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Dustin's strong on grappling. Oh, my God. I don't know if he's got much with it. No, it's it's hit. I don't think it's going to... Jesus. Yeah, like... Let it go. Get up. Let it go. Don't gas yourself out, man. Because I guess that Connor is, you know, we've sent him a bad man without the fam. He's not a bad man without the cardio. No, I'll tell you that much. Jesus. <laughs> I'm such. I'm so pathetic. But it does get you nervous when you really invest your life or invest your time into these guys, watching these guys. You know, I've been watching all week, months and years. You really start to develop a kind of like, oh well. Oh, it's not looking good for the body language of Connor. I, Dustin's a better grappler. There's no. Connor shouldn't have. Went. I think Connor should have broke the. Should have broke the wrestling exchanges when it happens. I feel like this can go very bad right here.
Connor's very good with the elbows he was against Chad Mendes, but this is not Chad Mendes. This is a oh Jesus. Graham, Graham. Oh. Yeah, if this pace keeps continuing, Connor will gas. He just needs to. I think whoever. See, if Dustin makes it a. Oh god. Shouldn't have went to the ground. No, he's not. Oh, God. Don't stop it, don't stop. Don't, don't stop it, don't stop. 37 seconds. McGregor's ears a bit messed up, I wonder. Oh, five seconds. Don't stop it, don't stop it, don't stop. Three, two, one. Jesus. Did Connor hurt his leg? His legs broke. You're kidding me. This is one of the most unluckiest fights I've ever seen. What? No, I can't end like that. I can't end like that. I no. Can't end like that. Can't end like that. What? I've been recording for six minutes. This fight has lasted only six minutes. What? Man! What? What the? What the? Jesus. What happened? Oh, uh, oh. Uh. I thought that was a knockdown. Oh! Ah! Oh! I've hurt my foot before and it hurts just to even pull, like, sprain your ankle to do that. That heap full on crap. Oh! Talk about bad luck. Did he seriously just crack his shin? The lower tibia. No harm, but I think if people make memes of this, he's busted his ears up. People start making memes of this, and people start saying that you know Connor's weak in this and that. Look at his. See if Dustin starts saying, oh, I'll beat you the sec. No. Man! I've been winning s I'm gonna look so stupid when I reply this back, but this is a real reaction. Like, you can laugh, you can say whatever, but. Connor had very good moments. I feel like he. I, feel, I do feel he was a bit too overreactive. Bit too emotional. I said it. I said it. The worst people are still gonna get start gonna get tattoos of this and start getting memes of this. You know the first one, yeah, meme. This one, nah. No.
No, you can't. You can't make memes that and say Dustin beat him, and Dustin cannot claim that one either. Like, look at that. McGregor was doing really well on the feet. If he hadn't have stayed on, if he hadn't have went to the ground, he would have got it in the feet. But you know, obviously, you know, what are you gonna do? Is rather than get ticked down, gating. But Dustin, as I said, like Dustin's a lot bigger than Connor. If you look at them two side by side in front of each other. Even height, I think Dustin's a tiny bit taller. I don't even think Connor's a full five nine. I think Dustin's about five nine and a quarter of a full five nine, and Dustin Connor's only about five eight and something. Weight wise, Dustin is what one seventy six, one seventy five. Connor, that's what Dustin fights at in the ring or in the octagon. Connor comes in there about one sixty eight, one seventy. Like he, you know, that's his natural weight. Corey's natural weight's about 180. There is a 10, 15 pound difference between those two. That's nothing to say. I'm not making excuses for Connor, but you know, that obviously must play a factor when you're talking about grappling. What an anticlimactic. No contest. TK, how is that a winner by TK? I, I mean, I agree, I get it. It wasn't far enough into the fight where you could say, what are you doing? What are you doing, you f idiot? How the heck can you claim victory after that? It's a doctor stoppage, you. What are you doing? What are you doing? You. How the heck can you be proud of that performance? You got. You got smashed up on the feet. You got. You did really well on the ground, but you know, freak accident, it's not your fault, nobody's fault, but how can you be proud of that? And what? Again, how can you be proud of breaking someone's leg through a check? You know, I, I respect Dustin Poirier, one of the nicest guys in the business. Such a character in ways, like, but you cannot be proud of that. You can't be proud of that. I mean, you can be proud of it, yeah, but how could you be... I get it, I get it, all the trash talk, whatever, but... In Victor and Defeat, Connor is always very respectful, 99% out of the time. Actually, he would have, I feel if Habib and the WWE did, he would have shook his hand. Look, I get it. Dustin deserves it. Dustin is a great fighter, but that's not karma. Look, you know, obviously, he doesn't want to much. I'm still a big fan of Dustin Poirier. Don't get me wrong. Big fan of McGregor as well. You know. Yeah, exactly. Like he, he's a good man. He's a family man. He runs his business, and exactly, you know, he he brings fans that are battling cancer and different illnesses to the arena. And I'm not saying that he does that. I'm not saying anything about that. I'm saying that's genuine. He does do that. Like he's a very good man in that respect. But that was. I'm just gonna say it. That was a bad move for him to say there's a point in saying this guy's a dirtbag and this and that whereas Connor whereas Connor if that had happened it Dustin Connor would have been all over him going, Oh man, you know, respect, respect, we'll do it again, we'll do it again at some point. Not great win, but he did he did well in there as long as it lasted and he just deserves the title shot. Uh, you know, he didn't even have to take this fight, he didn't have to take the first Connor fight to be honest. He was been the number one contender for a long time but 
you know, it leaves a bit of a sour taste in your mouth when you, you watch a whole card builds up for that and you're building up for weeks and weeks and weeks and that happened, you know, the last time it was the leg that, you know, it, <laughs> I'm not saying Goner has a problem with his legs, but it's just so unfortunate to be honest, it's so unfortunate. You know, I was expecting either to be saying, oh god, Connor got knocked out again or submitted, but you know, good on, good on Dustin, Dustin, or I was expecting to say, oh Connor's knocked him out, like, because I'm a Connor fan, you know, but or, but I'd be like respect to Dustin and us, but no, it's, you know, I would rather have seen, and I'm sure Connor would have seen it, rather than probably been knocked out, rather than that, that no one wants to fight to stop the gap. I think I would prefer to be knocked out than for a fight then. Like that, considering the fact that the amount of recovery time is going to take probably a whole year out, God knows what's going to happen. One advantage of this is that, you know, Connor can obviously play up to the fact that if he'd have been knocked out, that's the end of his career. That's him done. That's him done. As far as respect and the game goes and the title picture, that's him done. But um, because he wasn't, because it was an injury, I feel like he can, you know, cling on to that. I'm not saying cling on to it, but cling on to that. Like, you know, well, if it would have went on, I would have won. And the, the who knows, like, you know, what if kind of discussion. Um, and, you know, I feel like they can, I don't know. It's not very often to see four fights in a row. Like, I mean, I would watch it. I would be buzzing for it. To be honest, I, I don't know if I want to see it, though. And I hope Connor's not in his way out, but I have a feeling that might be the case. And I... That's sad because Connor was kind of the guy that got me into MMA, watching UFC and stuff, watching Conor McGregor back in the day. I, I, I was one of the, they call it a new fan, but I came in the Conor Rose era and uh, I've been obsessed with it ever since. But I don't know what what's next for Connor. Obviously, rest up. I feel like maybe a Tony, a Chandler, if he still wants to fight in the future. It's unfortunate, man. It's really unfortunate. But I'm going to shut up. <laughs> Probably go to sleep because it's. Six in the five forty in the morning. Actually, I might stay up a couple of hours, edit this, put it up tomorrow. But <sighs> sucks. But like this video, if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Oh, sh it's it's flashing. Like this video. Comment down below. Tell me what you thought. I'm sure you, it's the same as everyone else, but anticlimactic. But yeah, like, subscribe, like, comment, subscribe, and peace.